the next topic, average value, is calculated over some closed interval from A to B. So say over some fixed production level from one smaller amount to some larger amount. The average value of a function can be found by taking the definite integral of the function over that interval and then multiplying by 1 over the difference of the upper and lower bounds. So in example 4 we want to look at this idea of average value and also talk a little bit about the distinction between say the average value of a cost function and the average cost function which is something we've already looked at previously. So we're given the total cost in dollars of manufacturing X auto body frames is given to us as this function. We want to find the average cost function So average cost function or average revenue, average profit, is found by taking that original function and dividing by x, then to find the average profit function evaluated at 500, we would simply evaluate this function for x equals 500, which in this case would give us a value of 740. So what this tells us is that the average cost per unit if 500 frames are produced is $740. So at a production level of 500, at 500 frames, we're spending on average $740 per frame for the cost of construction or manufacturing. In part B here, we want to find the average value of the cost function over the interval from 0 to 500. So that means we want to integrate from 0 to 500 our cost function, which is 70,000 plus 600x dx. And then we need to multiply that by 1 over the difference of our upper and lower bounds, so 500 minus 0, or in this case, just 1 minus 500. So using Wolfram Alpha, we want to integrate 1 over 500 times 70,000 plus 600x for x equals 0 to 500. So again, take a look at that input, how Wolfram Alpha is interpreting that to make sure it matches with what you expect and we get a result of 220,000. So the average value of the cost function is $220,000. So we've looked at the average cost and the average value of the cost function. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the distinction between those two different amounts. So first we found the average value or average cost so that average cost of $740 is the average cost per unit at a production level of 500 units. So it's telling us on average how much we're spending per frame. The $220,000 is telling us the average value of the total cost of production or the total cost as production increases from 0 to 500 units. So we want to keep those distinctions in mind, the differences between those two statements, um, just so that we're keeping that idea of finding the average value of a function separate from finding, say, the average cost or average profit, average revenue. 